ಅಸ್ತಿತ್ತರಸ್ಯಂ ದ್ವಿಜಿದೇವತಾತ್ಮ ಹಿಮಾಲಯೋ ನಾಮ ನಗಾಧಿರಾಜ ಪೂರ್ವಾಪರೌ ತೋಯನಿಧೀವ ಕಾಹ್ಯ ಸ್ಥಿತ ಪೃಥಿವ್ಯಾ ಇವ ಮಾನದಂಡ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಅ ಫ್ಯೂ ಮೋರ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಸರ್ಗ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಸೆವೆಂಟಿ ಟು ಸೆವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಸಿ ಓಕೆ ವಿ ಫಿನಿಷ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ನೈನ್ತ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಅಥೇಂದ್ರಿಯ ಕ್ಷೋಭಮ ಅಯುಗ್ಮನೇತ್ರ ಪುನರ್ವಶಿತ್ವಾತ್ ಬಲವನ್ ನಿಗೃಹ್ಯ ಹೇತು ಸ್ವಚೇತೋ ವಿಕೃತೇರ್ ದಿದೃಕ್ಷು ದಿಶಾ ಮುಪಾಂತು ಸಸರ್ಜ ದೃಷ್ಟಿ ಸೊ ದಿ ಅರ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ವಾಸ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ವಿವೃಣ್ವತಿ ಶೈಲಸುತ ಅತಿ ತನ್ವಿ ಸೊ ಆಸ್ ಯು ನೋ ಶೈಲಸುತ ಪಾರ್ವತಿ ಗೇವ್ ಪರಮೇಶ್ವರ ಎ ಗಿಫ್ಟ್ ಶಿ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಡ್ರೈಡ್ ಅಪ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಲೋಟಸ್ ಸೀಡ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಮೇಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಅ ಮಾಲ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಶಿ ಗೇವ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಗಿಫ್ಟ್ ಟು ಪರಮೇಶ್ವರ ಅಂಡ್ ಹಿ ರಿಸೀವ್ಡ್ ಇಟ್ Uh, manmatha saw that this was the opportune moment to make them fall in love with each other right so as she was giving that mala parameshwara realized that he looked at her especially at her lips uma mukhe bimba phala adhara oshte vyaparayama sa vilochanani all three eyes were focused on her uh, lips there so he immediately realized that something was wrong in the atmosphere at that point so atha indriya kshobham ayugmanetra punarvashitvat balava nigrihya he immediately controlled his indriyas he was a yogi so he could immediately do it at that point and not let it uh, go haywire there so indriya kshobham balavat nigrihya even then he had to use a little bit of force there to uh, pull back retract his uh, indriyas and sva cheto vikrute he hetum dishaam upanteshu drishtim sasarj didrikshu in order to see what the cause for his uh, the vikaram of his mind was he looked at all the directions and he spots manmatha so the next shloka is manmatha's pose there it's a very beautiful uh, uh, nritya posture that is being described by kalidasa here sa dakshina panga nivishta mushtim ನತಾಂಸಂ ಆಕುಂಚಿತ ಸವ್ಯಪಾದ ದದರ್ಶ ಚಕ್ರೀಕೃತ ಚಾರು ಚಾಪಂ ಪ್ರಹರ್ತು ಅಭ್ಯುದ್ಯತ ಆತ್ಮಯೋನಿ ಆತ್ಮಯೋನಿ ಪ್ರಹರ್ತು ಅಭ್ಯುದ್ಯತ ಸಹ ದದರ್ಶ ಸಹ ಪರಮೇಶ್ವರ ದದರ್ಶ ಹಿ ಸೋ someone he he did not see his hetu it was just the hetu that he was looking for and manmatha is only a karanam for him he doesn't parameshwara i mean kalidasa at least does not even give the name of ananga here he is given manmatha all of those names have come before but here from the perspective of parameshwara he saw someone who was ready to hit him that is what parameshwara saw there ಆತ್ಮಯೋನಿ ಅಭ್ಯುದ್ಯತ ಪ್ರಹರ್ತು ಆತ್ಮಯೋನಿ ಪ್ರಹರ್ತು ಅಭ್ಯುದ್ಯತ ಅಭ್ಯುದ್ಯತ ಸಮನ್ ಹೂ ವಾಸ್ ಮೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಎನ್ ಎಫರ್ಟ್ ಆರ್ ಹೂ ವಾಸ್ ರೆಡಿ ಟು ಹಿಟ್ ಪ್ರಹರ್ತು ಇನ್ ಆರ್ಡರ್ ಟು ಹಿಟ್ ಆತ್ಮಯೋನಿ ಪರಮೇಶ್ವರ ಹಿಯರ್ ಸೊ ಆತ್ಮಯೋನಿ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಓನ್ ಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಹಿ ಡಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ನೀಡ್ ಅನ್ ಅದರ್ ಆಧಾರಂ ದೇರ್ and uh, uh, he was present right from the beginning adi antarahitah sah saeva sarvada vartate pasyatu aadharah kimapi nasti iti karana saeva atmayoni atmayonim prahartum abhyudyatam sah parameshwarah dadarsha how was he there are three adjectives for him here the first one is his hands the next his is legs and the third adjective is the weapon that he uses and the fourth is the target so these are the four things that describe manmatha in the shloka so the first is his hands dakshina apanga nivishta mushti his mushti is uh, near his dakshina apanga his right uh, uh, eye so dakshina apanga at the corner of the eye when someone is pulling the arrow the right mushti is near the eye right sorry the uh, hand is near the right eye apangam is also the corner of the eye so that's how they target and it's also a dance posture so you should uh, imagine how someone would pull like that and uh, uh, have the hand near the eye so dakshina apanga nivishta nivishta placed mushti 
his hand is being is placed near his right the corner of its eye the legs nata amsam ah the next is his shoulder both are a little um, uh, uh, bent downwards so that he can get the target properly nata amsam romba apdi thooki irundha it's it's very it, it, you'll have to give attention to the shoulders more than the posture and the hand uh, prowess you need the dexterity of the hand more than the balam coming from the shoulder right so nata amsam manmatha's shoulders are a little downwards and then akunchita savya pada his left leg is a little bit bent savya padam adu and the posture is called alidha uh, uh, the vyakhyata explains and describes the posture very beautifully this there are two actually totally there are five postures that an archer can take in nrityam there is alidha pratyalidha and uh, three more that are given the posture that manmatha takes here is called alidham where the left leg is bent and the right leg is stretched out so as he stretches out its right leg and the left leg is bent uh, uh, one is in the dance la vandu ipdi vechu paadha kaala if you uh, have seen dancers then you will know how the posture is i'll see if i can i think i uh, took out a picture uh, somewhere so dadarsh chakrikrita charu chapam his cha- chapa his bow was like a full circle almost like a full beautiful circle because he has he had pulled the bow string stretched out in such a manner that he the next thing is to just release he can't bend it even further so as he had pulled the string the entire uh, uh, chapam along with the string was looking like a big circle chakrikrita chakra roopena sarvada na bhavati यदा प्रहर्तुम आरभते तदा एव आकर्षणेन तत्र चापस्तु चक्रीकृत चक्र आकारेण वर्तते सो चक्रीकृत चारु चापम आत्मयोनि प्रहर्तुम अभ्युद्यतम ददर्श सो देयर इज नो वर्ड मन्मथा नो दिस थिंग हियर राइट नो मन्मथा और अनंगः इत्यादिकं नास्ति अत्र कामं मनोरथं मनोभवं इत्यादि no it's nothing because man he sees only a target or he sees only his cheto vikriti hetu there we'll go to the vyakhyanam drishti visargasya phalam so drishtim visasarja iti purvasmin shloke vartate this man drishti visarjanam what is the the uh, as he cast his sight what was the phalam that uh, he got when he cast his sight when parmeshwara cast his sight so saha oh atma yoni he takes it as uh, kamadeva i took it as atma yonim prahartum udyatam i don't know i like it this way <laughs> okay okay atma yoni nalu even kama manmatha is born out of the mind mano bhava iti atma iti you take it as manah so here he takes it as atma yoni atma chittam eva yoni hi yasya so you take it as uh, manmatha no okay fine i'll explain this but atma yoni prahartum is for shiva apdida enakku thondrudu you know mm-hmm. so then it is like he, he only sees that someone is ready to kill him or uh, hit him right okay. so no shiva is ready to hit him that can no no, no. Uh, he uh, man, uh, manmatha is ready to hit shiva prahartum abhyudyatam kam prahartum iti ched atmayonim prahartum iti maya swikritam but then he says right. prahartum abhyudyatam atmayonim kamam dadarsha so he takes that as the sub, uh, uh, um, object that's just yes, the okay so the operative yeah. uh, okay abhi edutukrar you don't need it's okay fine no, let's no, let's no. just go by that so saha ayugmanetraha atmayonim kamadevam dadarsha drishtavan ayam eva cheto vikriti hetuhu iti darshana matrena eva gnyatum shakyam iti dyotayitum atmayonehe visheshanani the moment he saw 
manmatha the visheshanas the adjectives that uh, kalidasa gives immediately gives us the point that this person should be the hetu for his uh, cheto vikriti the transformation of his mind what are all the adjectives dakshina apanga nivishta mushtim dakshine apange netra kone sanchara chapam chap maurvi vikarshana sanchara chap maurvi vikarshana vasat because of pulling the uh, maurvi in order to sanchara that is the chapam the the bow that he takes with him along with him uh, to hit because of pulling that pulling the ja, jya maurvi bow string akunchitaha vakri uh, sorry sthita mushti his mushti is a fist his fist has come near his right eye because he has pulled the maurvi natam se vinashta dakshina amsam only the right is a little bit lower because he has pulled it the the left would be a little bit higher because he is holding the bow and the right is a little bit lower because of the maurvi has been pulled back you can't raise your shoulder as you pull so it has to be a little bit lower so dakshina amsam tu vinashtam namram asti hmm? akunchita savya janu janu is the knee which is bent the left knee is little bit bent vakrikrataha it has been made kutilam it has been bent and uh, placed so savya januhu vamapada januhu eta tamma ha vamap yena tam ha ah, okay वामपाद जानु आकुंचि वामपाद जानु येन अंद अंद सम बहुव्री ही अभी ओके हिज लेफ्ट लेग इज बेंट सो अनेन आलीडाक्य धन्विना अवस्थान विशेष उक्त स्थानानि धन्विनाम पंच देर आर फाइव टाइप्स ऑफ स्थानम फॉर फॉर एन आर्चर तत्र वैशाखम अस्त्रियाम त्रिवृतः त्रिवितस्य अंतरौ वन मिनट त्रिवित त्रिवितस्य अंतरौ पादौ त्रिवितस्ति अंतरौ पादौ मंडलम तोरणाकृति अन्वर्थम स्यात् समपादम समपदम आलीढम तु ततो अग्रतः दक्षिणे वामम आकुंच्य प्रत्यालीडम विपर्ये त्रिविति त्रिवितस्ति इज वन वेर बोथ पादम आर लाइक अ मंडल मंडलाकार बोथ पादम इज इन द मिडल वैशाखम इज अस्त्रिया ओनली पुरुष ओनली द मेन यूज द पोस ऑफ वैशाख trivitasti is where antarau pado both legs are in the middle and they are in the standing posture mandalam is torana akriti they they are using a, a, a toranam like a toranam in the sense their legs are both in a like a squatting position uh, like an arch right toranam and then uh, samapadam samapadam is where both legs are uh, uh, direct together uh, in an aramandi probably and then aalidham is tato agrataha one leg is in the front and one leg is in the back dakshine vamam akunchya you uh, bend the right, left inside the right and then pratyalidham is the opposite uh, there are in this there is a website called wisdom lib or something and they have some photos and you know. there is that is trying to catch that let me see hmm ha huh. am tatra katakamuka ityapi ekaha phosa kala katakamukam katakamukam is uh, the hand posture it's not uh, uh, leg ah 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 okay. also for chinnamasta dhyana se they say like pratyalidha padam is it yes correct yes 
she is uh, i am not able to share this ah yes okay this is the one that is given see if you see this left right is uh, akunchitam Le left is uh, uh, straight and then there is this one which is uh, uh, left is akunchitam and right is straight so it depends on which one has uh, 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 both alidha and pratyalidha are just uh, opposites there vaishnavi nella dance theriyona it will be easier to uh, understand actually there was one uh, uh, friend of mine who had done uh, an mphil thesis on the dance uh, uh, elements in kalidasa's shravya kavyas i think i told last time also yeah she uh, demonstrated this in a lecture how manmatha would have stood and adnala uh, it's still fresh in my mind <laughs> so uktam cha raghuvamsha this is a quote he has taken from raghuvamsha atishtad alidha vishesha shobhi alidha has been used by kalidasa there also iyam alidha swabhavukti hi vakshyamanasya deva kopasya alambana vibhavah bhavati seeing him in one of the archer's position becomes an alambana vibhava for parameshwara scopa which is going to come next right so it has to something has to be a trigger point for him and that is the alambana vibhavam and the alambana vibhavam here is not just manmatha but the posture in which he is standing अवस्थम आह चक्रीकृत चारु चापम चक्रीकृत मंडलीकृत चारु सुंदर चापम अनेन प्रहारस्य दृढ़पाति सूचित इट इज ऑलरेडी इन ए राउंड पोजिशन विच मीन इट इज नॉट जस्ट ए स्लाइट पुल दट ही हेज डन is not thinking okay let me try or anything he is going full on with it and that's why he has pulled it to the maximum here and the uh, whole bow is looking like a round so he is not going to do a, a half job here right so dridha patitva he is going to make it fall really in a strong manner ebihi visheshanaihi siddham artham eva what is the siddham that which is the phalam here prahartum atmani baana prayogam kartum udyuktam okay so anena spashta apakaratvam uktam it's very clear that uh, manmata has uh, uh, done one apakaram here to parameshwara right this is all of this that posture itself when you imagine it just shows that he is very ready to uh, hit parameshwara sa dakshina apanga nivishta mushtim नतांसमाकुंचित सव्यपाद ददर्श चक्रीकृत चारुचापम प्रहर्तुमुत आत्मयोनि तप परामर्श विवृद्ध मनो भ्रूभंग दुष्प्रेक्ष मुख से स्फुर उदर्चि सहसा तृतीया अक्षण कृशानु किल निष्पात कृशानु निष्पात किल तृतीयात अक्षण 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 फ्रॉम द थर्ड आई कृशानु फायर अग्नि अग्नि निष्पात इट जस्ट इमीडिएटली फेल सहसा उदर्चि इट्स फ्लेम्स वर् गोइंग अप स्फुर इट वाज आल्सो प्रकाश युक्त आसीत युक्त आसीत कृशानु कस्य तृतीय अक्षण इतुक्ते तस्य परमेश्वर से tap of paramrish vivridha manyo his kopam immediately started growing because of the tapah tapas is his uh, paramrish is like a hetu right in the idla vand paramrish is the hetu for anumiti uh, so tap of paramrisham becomes uh, tapas is your paramrish because of which manyo kopam is uh, the, his anger is completely uh, increased and brubhanga dushpreksha mukhasya tasya his face was also very tough to look at because he had uh, crinkled his uh, eyebrows brubhanga his eyebrows were scrunched up and it was tough to look at his face tasya parameshwarasya tritiyat akshna from the third eye of parameshwara whose uh, anger was increased because of the tapas that he had inside and his eyebrows were also crunched up and it was 
have to look at even his face so uh, you know not even not wait for the uh, uh, fire it was just to merely to look at the parameshwara's face itself is very difficult spuran udarchihi krishanuhu nishpapat spuran the shining fire just came out it just came uh, yeah um shiva puranam also is actually if you look at uh, kale's vyakhyanam and the notes that he gives he gives some quotations from uh, parvati pranayam and shiva purana which has which are just parallel to what uh, kalidasa has written um, bhagavata bhagavatah tat tadrisham tadrisha madana darshanajam krodham tat palam cha aha when parameshwara saw manmatha what happened the anger that came out of parameshwara when he saw manmatha and the fruit of that the result of that is being described in the shloka tapav paramrsha vivruddham anyoho tasya tritiya dakshnah krishanuhu sahasa nishpapata tapav paramrsha tapasaha paramrshena paramrsha can also be dharshana which is the uh, you can take it as the effect of it hmm? ದರ್ಶನ ಡಿಸ್ಟರ್ಬೆನ್ಸ್ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ದೇರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಸಮ್ ಒನ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಕಮ್ ಅಂಡ್ ನೋ ಘರ್ಷಣ ಆರ್ ದರ್ಶನ ಇಸ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟರ್ಬಿಂಗ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಹಿಸ್ ತಪಸ್ ವಾಸ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ಲಿ ಡಿಸ್ಟರ್ಬ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸೋ ಹಿ ಗಾಟ್ ಆಂಗ್ರಿ ದೇರ್ Hmm. he says askandana askandana can also mean actually the gharshanam can also mean in the orayar dhingra only ah and that is rubbing no ah, ah, r- is rubbing irritating ha ah. yeah yeah being irritated his, his penance was probably he became very frustrated because someone came and disturbed his penance right so that's what he means here so immediately there was a kopam that came krodha ತಪಸ ಪರಾಮರ್ಶೇಣ ದರ್ಶನೇನ ಹೇತು ವಿವೃದ್ಧ ಮನ್ಯು ಕ್ರೋಧ ತೃತೀಯ ದಕ್ಷಣಾತ್ ಅಕ್ಷಣ ಲಲಾಟ ಲೋಚನಾತ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿ ಐ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಆನ್ ಇಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ಹೆಡ್ ಕೃಷಾನು ಅಗ್ನಿ ಅಖಿಲ ಕಲ್ಪಾಂತೆ ಸಕಲಮಿ ಲೋಕ ಭಸ್ಮಸಾತ್ ಕರಿಷ್ಯತಿ ದ ಅಗ್ನಿ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಕೇಪಬಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಾಯಿಂಗ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಅಟ್ ದಿ ಎಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಲ್ಪ Uh, that agni came out it seems so yadaha murarihi murari must be this uh, anargha ragava na neela lohita lalata lanchane lochane jayati kopi pavakaha rakshitasya jagadanta hetave yasya sanjvalanam atmabhur abhut atmabuhu yasya sanjvalanam abhut ಸಹ ಕೋಪಿ ಪಾವಕ ಜಯತಿ ಸೊ ಯಸ್ಯ ಪರಮೇಶ್ವರ ಆತ್ಮಭೂಹ ಸಂಜ್ವಲ ಸಾರಿ ನೋ ನೋ ಎಸ್ ಪಾವಕ ಸಂಜ್ವಲನ ಆತ್ಮನ ಆತ್ಮಭೂಹ ಅಭೂತ್ ಆತ್ಮಭೂ ಕಾಮದೇವ ಮನ್ಮಥ ಬಿಕೇಮ್ ದ ಫ್ಯೂಯಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪಾವಕ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಫೈಯರ್ ದ ಐ ಬೋ ಡೌನ್ ಟು ದಟ್ ಪಾವಕ ಆರ್ ಜಯತಿ ಇತ್ಯುಕ್ತೆ ಸರ್ವೋತ್ಕರ್ಷೇಣ ವರ್ತತೆ ಸ ಎವ ಪಾವಕ ಅಗ್ನಿ ಎವ ಶಾಂಭವ ಅಗ್ನಿ ಶಂಭೋ ಅಗ್ನಿ ಎವ ಜಯತಿ ಸರ್ವೋತ್ಕರ್ಷೇಣ ವರ್ತತೆ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ರೇನ್ ಸುಪ್ರೀಂ ಹಿಯರ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದಟ್ ಪಾವಕ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬೀನ್ ಪ್ರೊಟೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಪರಮೇಶ್ವರ ಇನ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಐ ಅಂಟಿಲ್ ದಿ ಎಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಲ್ಪ he had not let it out if he had let out that agni then everything would have been destroyed by now but he has protected that agni within him neela lohita lalata lanchane lochane in the i that is the uh, sign of parameshwara's neela lohita lalata parameshwara's uh, 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 forehead rakshitasya pav kopi pavaka uh, it has been protected for the For, for the sake of jagadanta hetave just to avoid the destruction of the worlds so he has protected it within his eye that pavaka is the uh, it, it reigns supreme so uh, he wants to show that that agni has so much of power and when parameshwara uses that agni on kama he had there is only the next shloka describes only his bhasmam there nothing else 
सहसा झटिति निष्पात निर्जगाम मदनम अभिमुखी What is the source of that? Mur Murari is it some kavya? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Murari is the author. Uh, he has written a kavya Manargha Raghavam. Uh, I think this should probably be the um, Mangala Shloka or something like that, or one of the first few shlokas of Murari. Yeah, No, I don't see that shloka here. Yeah, it is a natakam, probably. So it's a prakaranam. Anargharagava is a 10 act uh, prakaranam. You can look through uh, the, whether it is there. Probably in the index, he would have given a list. Uh -huh. You can go through that shloka. Yeah. There is no index in the text that I have. Mm. Okay. Anena nija vachanasya moolabhutam brahmanam darshayati. Madanam abhimukhi kritya. Kila. Kila is Aitihye. Didn't it happen? Is Pakalidasa wants to say that this is what happened here. There is a moolam here. There is a pramanam there. I am not uh, uh, plucking out something from my brain like, uh, you know, making Dushyanta the best king or anything like that. That is a creative uh, approach of Kalidasa. Dushyanta was the was not the epitome of noble kings or anything. He was a really bad fellow in Mahabharata and Padma Purana. Uh, and Durvasa Shapa was also a creation of Kalidasa. But here, the burning of Manmatha is not uh, some creation of Manma, uh, Kalidasa. But it is something that happened and there is a pramanam for it in the Puranas. So there is a pramanam. Nija vachanasya tu pramanam vartate dikaranat kila. Nishpapata kila. It really happened, right? Iti prachati. So raudra rasa vyabhicharinaha krauryasya anubhavam prapanchayati. You need raudra rasam as an intermediary rasa for the karuna rasam that is going to come later. So for that, he has to establish the ground immediately. And the Alambana Vibhavam was Manmatha's posture there. The uh, uh, Anubhava, the Krodha Anubhavam, Raudra Rasasya Anubhava is Brubangam, scrunching of his eyebrows. That is the, and then kru, uh, that uh, uh, Raudrasya Vyabhichari Bhavas to Krauryam Iti Vadati. So it's a cruelty for him to make it into a bhasma. That Vyabhichari Bhava comes later. Hmm? So the Anubhava is present here. Alambana Vibhavam was the earlier shloka. Now here you have the facial expressions of Parameshwara and the coming out of the Agni here. Right? Brubhanga, Brubhanga, Dushpreksham Ukasya, Brubhangena, Brukutya, Dushpreksham, Durdarsham, very tough to look at. His face was difficult to uh, look at by other people who were present there. Krishanu Nishpatanasya Avastha, Spuran, Prakashamanaha, it was shining. Adho Tavatu, Trithiya Lochane, Kinchit Prakashamanaha, Drittaha. When Parameshwara was doing tapas, all, all three eyes were focused on his Nasagram. And uh, uh, there uh, Kalidasa uses Adho Mayu Khaihi. So there were Prakasham that came out of all three eyes and it was focused downwards. So he had already described that his eyes were a little shining there. Now this Agni which came out was even more brighter than the eye itself. So Kinchit Prakasha Manaha Purvam Drishtaha. Dvitiya Avastham Darshayati. The next step. See in the, in the shloka itself he says first it was Purati. Tadanantaram Udarchihi. The next the flames came out. And then the entire Agni fell out of his eye. So all three stages just happened immediately. Sahasa. He is not waiting for some four or five shlokas to describe how the Agni came out and how it was first like Tathanastyatra. There is no big description for us to go over the time. It just happened so quickly. Right? Dudvidi avasthatu udarchihi udgata jwalaha Tadanantaram Jajulyamanaha Drishtaha Krishanuhu Nishpapata. Okay. So Atras Puran Udarchihi Nishpapata Iti Padatrayena with these three words Krishanu Swabhava Siddhaha Kramaha Vivakshitaha. The order of how a fire burns is described with these three words. First, it is just Kinchit Prakashamanaha. 
तदनंतर मुदर्ची ही the flames go up and then it just falls out on the target निष्पापात तपः परामर्श विवृद्धमन्यो हो भ्रूभंग दुष्प्रेक्ष मुखस्य तस्य स्पुरन उदर्ची ही सहसा प्रतियां रक्षक कृषानु किलन निष्पापात क्रोधम प्रभो संहर संहरेति यावत् गिरखे मरुतां चरंति तावत् सवन्हिर भवनेत्र जन्मा भस्मा वशेषम मदनं चकार That's it over here. The devas were all standing there, and not even the devas. Devas had still not come there. Marutam ke charanti marutam giraha yavat agachchate. The only the there are forty nine, forty seven winds, forty nine, seven into seven. Diti after her uh, when Hiranyaksha and Hiranyakashipu died, she wanted another child who was strong enough to kill uh, Indra. She so Kashyapa said okay for that, and she became pregnant. And uh, she, he said you will have to wait for at least hundred years and not uh, uh, make the you know child come out until then, so that it becomes really strong and it is capable of killing Indra. Now Indra finds this as an opportunity. He comes and does service to Diti. She is after all a stepmother, right? Aditya hai putra tu Indra ha. दिति ही तो गर्भवती अत्र तस्मात तस्या हा सेवाम कर्तुम तो त्रागतवान इंद्रा एंड ही इज वेटिंग फॉर एन ऑपरेशनिटी टू सी वेदर शी स्लिप्स इन हर शुद्धता because kashipa gives that as a reason he says you will have to remain very uh, proper in your tradition rituals and everything if you even slip a little bit then i cannot guarantee so one day when she is very tired she goes to sleep she doesn't wash her feet and she goes to sleep it seems and she falls asleep indra then enters into the garbha and kills it he strikes it seven times with his vajrayudham they were ma ma it they they are crying you know marut rut is uh, uh, rauti uh, they are crying so they are shouting at indra saying do not kill us But then Indra uh, uh, sees that they are still. It has become into seven garbhas, and he further uh, um, uh, uh, cuts each one of that fetus into seven more parts. So seven into seven, forty nine parts are there. He is not able to completely destroy the garbha. So forty nine of them are born as maruts. The wind gods are forty nine in number. and they all uh, uh, enlist under indra for service that's it they become his supporter there even though he tried to kill them uh, <laughs> so gopam prabho samhara samhareti yavat marutam giraha charanti khe charanti khe aakashe yavat as soon as or as uh, the the sound of the marut the wind gods were rising in the sky charanti khe charanti what were they saying they were saying krodham prabho samhara samhara control your anger you know pull back your anger uh, you say something twice it's out of uh, an urgency or uh, you know that it reveals the uh, bhavam inside the mind of the person who speaks when he speaks twice it's because it is a ana solrathu or bhayam or a shoka something or the other like that so he prabho krodham kopam sambhara you retract your anger as they were speaking pavatu as that was happening immediately vannihi bhavanetra janma the vanni that came out of parameshwara's eye uh, madanam bhasma avashesham chakara it just made manmatha as just ashes basma avashesham there was only ashes remaining of manmatha nothing else was there left only the ashes of manmatha in that point ha krishanu nipad nishpatanasya phalam aha prabho tvam kopam samhara samhara iti marutam giraha yavat khe charanti yavat tan tavat shows the time frame as and when this was happening this had already happened here that the, there was no space there for him to do anything so tavat bhavanetra janma vannihi madanam bhasma avashesham chakara he prabho trilokya adhipate 
ಪ್ರಭು ಇತ್ಯುಕ್ತೆ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ದ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲರ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ಥ್ರೀ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಹರ ಪ್ರಭಾವ ದರ್ಶನೇನ ಸಂಜಾತ ಪರಮಾರ್ಥ ಬೋಧನ ಬೋಧನ ಅತಯೇವ ವಿಗಲಿತ ಅಭಿಮಾನ ಓಕೆ ಅತಯೇವ ವಿಗಲಿತ ಅಭಿಮಾನ ದೇವಾನ ಯಮುಕ್ತಿ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಎನಿಬಡಿ ಗೋಸ್ ದ ಮರುತ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಪ್ರಾಬಬ್ಲಿ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಯುನೋ ರೆಜಿಮೆಂಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಗೋಸ್ ಔಟ್ ಟು ಫೈಟ್ because they can move faster than anybody else right among the devas armies the marut is the first thing that can go out vayu vegena te tu gantum shakta haeva tasmat te pratham tatra gataha sanjata paramartha bodhanam devanam this is an adjective to the devas the devas as a collective they sent their message through marut and marut are the ones who conveyed it so they were the first one all the devas understood that this is what it is parameshwara's reality is that he can kill anybody we should not disturb him right so sanjata paramartha bodha they realized the uh, truth that was happening there and vigalita abhimanana their uh, arrogance was completely gone at that point they realized they should not have acted and they should have waited for nature to take its own course if you try to do something out of nature viparita eva tatra you know it you can't force nature here apo it will just burst out and the the repercussions will be too much so you will have to let nature take its course they realized that later only and so their arrogance was completely gone and because prabhu saha iti tadanantaram eva tesham buddho aasit samhara iti prarthanayam so dvirvachanam tu sambhramam pratipadayati their uh, agitation la uh, iti shabdah prakaravachi prakaravachi na evam prakarena uh, ತೇ ಅವದನ್ನಿತಿ ಸೊ ಮರುತಾಂ ಕಾಮಂ ನಿಯುಜ್ಯ ನಿಜ ಮನೀಷಿತ ಲಾಭ ದರ್ಶನಾರ್ಥ ಹರ ಸಮೀಪೆ ವರ್ತಮಾನ ದೇವಾನ ಮರುತಾಂ ಕಾಮಂ ನಿಯುಜ್ಯ ಕಾಮಂ ನಿಯುಜ್ಯ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಅಪಾಯಿಂಟಿಂಗ್ ಕಾಮ they were standing there near them yeah mahara samipe eva vartamananam devanam they were waiting there to see whether their uh, uh, desire has been fulfilled or not yeah ah marut ma marutam is in shashti vibhakti ಮರುತ ನಿಯುಜ್ಯ ನೃಕ್ಲ ಕಾಮಂ ನಿಯುಜ್ಯ ಹರ ಸಮೀಪೆ ವರ್ತಮಾನ ಮರುತಾಂ ದೇವಾನ ಐ ವುಡ್ ಪ್ರಾಬಬ್ಲಿ ಟೇಕ್ ದೀಸ್ ಟು ಟುಗೆದರ್ ಹ್ಮ್ ದೇವಾನ ಮರುತಾನ ಮರುತಾಂ ಮೆಸೆಂಜರ್ಸ್ ದೇವಾನ ಮರುತಾಂ ದೇವಾನ ದೇ ಅಪಾಯಿಂಟೆಡ್ ಕಾಮ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ದೇ ವೇಟೆಡ್ ಟು ಸಿ ವೆದರ್ ದೇರ್ ಮನೀಷಿತ ಲಾಭ ದೇರ್ ಡಿಸೈರ್ ಗಾಟ್ ರಿಯಲೈಸ್ಡ್ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ದಟ್ ಪರಮೇಶ್ವರ ವೆದರ್ ಹಿ ಫೆಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ಪಾರ್ವತಿ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸೊ ದೇ ವರ್ ವೇಟಿಂಗ್ ನಿಯರ್ ಬೈ ಅಂಡ್ ದೇ ಹೆಡ್ ಸೆಂಟ್ ದ ಮರುತ್ ದೇವಾಸ್ ದೇರ್ ನಿಯರ್ ಬೈ ಟು ವೇಟ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ದೇವಾಸ್ ವೇರ್ ದೇರ್ ದೆನ್ ಪರಮೇಶ್ವರ ವುಡ್ ಗೆಟ್ ನೋಟಿಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ವೆರ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಫ್ ದ ವಾಯು ಭಗವಾನ್ ವಾಯು ದೇವಾ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಮರುತ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ದೇರ್ ದೆನ್ they are uh, going to be incognito madri clear they their presence won't be noticed as much as all the other devas who are present so marutam is the adjective for the devas here giraha vachah yavat yasmin kale khe aakashe charanti atra lat prayogasya ayam nirvahah tad adaucha iti bhoja sutram tad adaucha upapade ಭೂತಾರ್ಥೆ ಲಟ ತತ್ ಆದೌ ಆಸ್ ವೆನ್ ದಟ್ ವೆನ್ ಒನ್ ಆಕ್ಷನ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದೆನ್ ದಟ್ ಗೇನ್ಸ್ ಯು ಗಿವ್ ದಟ್ ದ ಲಟ್ ಲಕಾರ ದಟ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ಲಟ್ ಲಕಾರ ವರ್ತಮಾನ ಕಾಲೆ ಬಹುತಿ ಯಾ ಕ್ರಿಯಾ ಆದೌ ಕ್ರಿಯತೆ ಯಸ್ಮಿನ್ ಸಮಯೆ ಯಾ ಕ್ರಿಯಾ ಆದೌ ಕ್ರಿಯತೆ ತಸ್ಯ ಕ್ರಿಯ ತಸ್ಯ ಕ್ರಿಯಾ ಯಾ ಹಾ ತು ವರ್ತಮಾನತ್ವ ಬಹುತಿ ಸೊ 
तद आद उपदे भूतार्थे लट ईवन दो इट इज अ भूतार्थम Right, uh, they said it, but then this after that this uh, agni came out. So it should actually technically be in the past tense, but then this uh, shows a sama samayam. It shows that it happens at the correct the similar time, and this is the beginning time. So you can use that in present tense here. That's why khe charanti iti yavatu khe charanti. चकार भस्मशेष चकार अत्र लिटल वर्तते सो यू यूजुअली यूज यू नो कीपिंग द टेन्स इन द सेम ऑर्डर इफ वन इज इन भूतकालम दि अदर शुड आलो बी इन भूतकालम इफ वन इज इन वर्तमान कालम दे नेक्स्ट सेंटेन्स आलो शुड बी इन वर्तमान कालम बट वेन यू यूज यावत् तवत् दि आदिक्रिया कैन बी इन लटल एंड द अंतिम क्रिया कैन बी इन चकार बिकॉज यू आर् इंडिकेटिंग ऐस दिस वॉज हापनिंग it is continuous tense so uh, for that you use latlakara okay um vrittau cha ayameva shlokah udaharanatvena darshitah even in the vritti for in the boja sutram he has given this shloka as an example okay we'll madhavastu evam aha yavattavat shabdau kriyayoh tulyakalatam ahatuh they show the same time for the two kriyas giram charane vartamane sati that's the meaning that you want here as the words were moving in the air vartamane sati vanhihi kamam adahat the uh, uh, fire just burnt manmatha nahi marutam vachaneshu charatsu vartamane uh, uh, not as a वह काम अदहत् प्रयोग कॉपी दोष न अस्ति देर इज नो यू कैन से चरत्सु आलो देर और हाउ एवर दिस इज टू मच ऑफ ई थिंक ही इज डूइंग अनालिसि ऑफ द वृत्ति एंड द सूत्र दट इज देर इन भोज भोज सूत्र सो वील जस्ट मूव ऑन वाक् प्रचार समकालमे मदन दग्ध अभूत मन्मथ बिकेम भस्मशेषम सो वन्नि मदनम भस्म अवशेषम भस्म अवशेषम ओनली आशिस् वेर अवशिष्ट रिमेनि तथा चकार मदनम अत्र भवनेत्र जन्मन दहन सामर्थ्यम दोत्य ओके okay. परमेश्वर प्रतिकूल समुद्यम अभी भग्न अभूत ईवन दफर्ट दट द देवाज टेकन अगेन्स्ट परमेश्वर वॉज आलो गाणर एंड आल ऑफ दोज भग्न मनोरथा देवा मन्मथ अभी त्र दग्ध सो लाट आफ थिंग्स हेड बीन अचीवड इन द्लोक वन श्लोक इट से सो पुनश्च भग्न देवै से प्रसूत भगवान अभ्यर्थिता भगवान्थि अभूत अवसेय सो अगेन द देवर्स नौ हेव टू कम बैक् टू परमेश्वर हिमसेल्फ टू आस्क फॉर ए सेनानी दट इज ए कमांडर टू कमांड दि आर्मी अगेन्स्ट तारकासुरा नौ देर डिजयर्स वेर गॉन्ड हियर सेना नयती सेना दिस इज एन ईकारा पुलिंग पदम कौमदील पड़प अजंत पुलिंग रीड दिस्ड सी नयती अतएव षे सर्गे हर एव वक्ष्य इन दिस्थ सर्ग वी आर गोइंग टू रीड द श्लोक अगेन सोहम तृष्णातुर वृष्टि विद्युत्व चातक आरी विप्रकृत देवै प्रसूति प्रतियाचि ई वॉज आस्ड बै द देवास् देवै प्रसूति याचि ई प्रसूति प्रति फॉर ए प्रॉजनी ई वॉज आस्ड बै द देवास् टू क्रियेट ए प्रॉजनी बै द देवास् हू वर् आरी विप्रकृत दे वर् रांग्ड बै द एनिमी अरिभि शत्रुभि विप्रकृत पीड़ित देवै प्रार्थि अहम द फस्ट लाइन इज उपमा हियर चातक तृष्णातुर चातक विद्युत्वान् 
vrishtim yachitah iva just as how the chataka birds which are tormented by krishna thirst they ask the cloud for vrishti rain in the same manner the devas also being tormented by tarakasura and other asuras they asked me for a prasuvuti for a uh, child and that child will be kartikeya who becomes the senani okay ha ah, cholunga i didn't understand vidyutvan vidyutvan ah இது என்ன பியூட்டிஃபுல் ஸ்லோகம்னா வித்யுத்ங்கிறது ஸ்ரீலிங்கம் பதம் வித்யுத் இஸ் லைட்னிங் சோ வித்யுத் அசிய அஸ்தி இது வித்யுத்வான் மேகா சோ மேகஸ்து புல்லிங்கா வித்யுத் தசிய தசி தஸ்மாத் அத்த சக்தி கார்த்திகேயம் பிரஜனித்தும் சக்தி சோ ஹி நீட்ஸ் போத் சக்தி அண்ட் சிவா ஹியர் சோ வித்யுத்வான் இவ ஹி புட்ஸ் தட் இந்த உபமானம் இது ோதம் பிரபோ சம்ஹர சம்ஹரேதி யாவத்கிரே மருதாம் சரந்தி தாவத் சவன்ஹிர் பவனேத்ர ஜன்மா பஸ்மாவசேஷம் மதனம் சகார ஓகே